Hi, day four, Jamie's recovery. Big improvements today. He woke up this morning really alert, really keen to tell me about the dream that he just had, which was a bit random, so similar to the kind of hallucinations he was having yesterday uh, when he closed his eyes, but today it was in the form of a quite vivid dream in which my mum, Queenie, who you'll have seen in one of the previous videos, happened to be going out with uh, Bradley Cooper, who wasn't Bradley Cooper, but looked like him. Well done, Queenie. And he had some sort of elaborate speaker set up, and he was basically, I don't know if he was watching a movie or playing Xbox or something, with Bradley Cooper in this weird house with this huge speaker, and there was some sort of incident with a Pro Plus falling into the speaker, and it was all very graphic, and we woke up, it was, he, he described it in a lot of detail. All I took away from it was that my mum was dating Bradley Cooper. Jealous. He woke up really animated and talked, as I said, talked for about 10 minutes about this dream, which was a massive improvement and it was almost like talking to Jamie. It was really, really cool. So that was this morning, the first thing, which was great. He also got up this morning feeling hungry for the first time, so he jumped out of bed ready for breakfast, which again, he hasn't done, he's sort of eaten because it's there, but yeah, he actually felt physically hungry this morning, which was, which was really, really good. After breakfast, he had a little dip again, energy levels dipped slightly. He has a bit more problems, or, or, or maybe he's noticing more problems with his eye tracking today, so things are a bit jumpy, but I think that's maybe more, because he's slightly more with it, he's noticing the deficits in his vision a little bit more. Lots of things going on today. Eyes are hard to concentrate, I keep jumping out all over the place. Um, lots of feeling coming around, back around the wound. Uh, so after breakfast, as normal, the physios came round and took him for a walk. Now every other day, there's kind of been sort of like silent toddler steps. Trying to sense the confusion. Just a little bit weird. But today, as he sort of left the room, he was having a good chat with the physio and I actually heard him <laughs> all the way around the little loop that he did. I could hear him chatting away, which again is, is a vast improvement from what we've had the last couple of days. And breakfast, and for a walk, and a bit of a wash and change, wash my hair. So yeah, it turned a bit of a corner today in terms of, I suppose, personality and, and kind of chattiness that's coming back. I um, think he's feeling a lot better in himself. Today the nurses set Jamie the challenge of drinking as much water as possible with the hope that later today they can take him off his drip so all the lines can come out which means he's just a bit more mobile, he doesn't have to pull the saline drips with him everywhere he goes. Fingers crossed he can manage to uh, hit his four jug challenge and get the lines removed which would be great. Trying to get off the drip for the day as well, drink as much water as I can. Jug two of four. We love jugs. Yeah, I do. Definitely starting to see a little bit of the twinny twinkle, which is excellent. Four jug challenge was achieved, winner, which meant that the line came out today. Um, he didn't now doesn't have to have the saline drip. Um, and he's just on sort of oral paracetamol in terms of painkillers and things like that. So, yeah, that was a positive step forward. Um, but amazing to see it get pulled out. So if you're a little bit squeamish, maybe sort of fast forward the next minute or so of video. Um, but yeah, it's pretty epic. <laughs> it's a magic trick. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, let's press. <laughs>
I was not <laughs> expecting that. <laughs> That's impressive. <laughs> Between physio appointments today, Jamie also wanted to go for a walk himself. Again, shows a little bit more the energy level starting to return. So basically, he's a bit frustrated with not being able to walk particularly straight. He definitely sort of veers off to the right a little bit. So we've been going out into the corridor, just practicing doing straight walks. Going out to practice some uh, straights. Because at the moment he keeps veering to the right. So we're going to go and practice up and down the corridor. Oh, nope. and no eye patch. Would you like your eye patch? No. Just up and down using the walker still. Definitely less dependent on it. He can kind of more just sort of use it as a guide now rather than actually leaning on it and using it to sort of, I suppose, carry a bit of his weight. So after the drip was out this afternoon, we just sort of chilled out again. We went for more walks, more practicing up and down the corridor. <laughs> until this afternoon that I realised the corridor isn't straight. We have just realised that Jamie's trying to walk straightly, straightly, straightly. walk straight down a curved corridor. <laughs> so no wonder he's struggling slightly because we are in the brain. Forgot we were in the big round brain building. Um, so practicing straight lines was a bit more difficult and I was wondering why I was having problems but yeah it's because the corridor is actually um, a circle so that was interesting Whoa. straight this is straight face of concentration straight corridor win so yeah, lots of walking, quite active today. Definitely, definitely not sleeping as much either. Conversations, good, and lulls every now and again. A lot more himself today. And actually, after dinner, it was as if someone turned the switch and Jamie was there. And yeah, it was a really good day today. To the point where he actually FaceTimed a couple of family members this evening. Just watching him talk, it was like, just Jamie was in the room it was just like nothing had happened so that for me was I think today is when the reliefs I suppose hit the most because as I said Jamie's back and it's it's great there is still dips in energy that twinkles back which is great it's back enough for him to take the mick out of me constantly anyway so we had um, good conduct certificate documents from the Malaysian government that we needed um, signed up, we asked James if he'd do it for us whilst Claire would be here and he said yep, no problem. Went into the house to go and get them. Lucy had them in her bag here. <laughs> Whoopsie! No, a couple of months. A couple of months hopefully, say. Couple, couple of months what? A couple of months hopefully. Until? Now that he's awake a bit more, energy levels are up, he's starting to feel the boredom a little bit as well. This evening we've started listening to podcasts as well. Thank you San and Hannah for the favourite one so far. Maybe not YouTube appropriate, but it's given us a good laugh. <laughs> Um, so again, that shows how he's much more able to sort of focus and concentrate on conversations. So we got to the point where we've listened to a couple of chapters of a podcast today. So yeah, the podcasts are going to help a lot over the next couple of days in terms of our boredom, our hospital boredom. Really positive day today. Felt really emotional last night going to bed. And again, the emotions today have been quite high. I think that's just relief more than anything for me now. Um, because, yeah, because he's back. I am Groot. I am Groot. 
I am Groot. I am Groot.